in till maskiner och man startar på bunn Vad blod, det var svett, det var dollarsmak i mun Bakgrund som en skoletapp This music video was Shell Ingeroke's 60th birthday present. His story from a fisherman to one of Norway's wealthiest men. Before he got there, let us go back in time. Rukke started his working career on a fisher boat back home in Norway. At 19 years old, he found a job at an American trawler named Arctic Trawler. Here, he managed to save up $50,000 to buy his first fishing boat in the U.S. Unfortunately, business was not booming. After buying two more fishing boats and making no profits, he joined forces with a businessman named Robert Breskovic in Seattle. Together, they invested in the trawler Golden Alaska. This is where his business empire really started. Rukke and Breskovic established the American Seafoods Company and bought several other boats. For the next couple of years, Rukke made a fortune of almost $200 million. His story could stop here, but Rukke was chasing more success. In 1994, Rukke returned home to Norway and combined his companies into Resource Group International. Here, he bought considerable stakes in several companies and merged into what is today known as Acre ASA. During this time, Rukke became known for using a specific tactic called Corporate Raider. Here, businessmen buys low-priced companies, splits them up, and sells with profit. The owners of such companies usually worked hard to counteract Rukke, but he gained support amongst the workers and unions. But his return to Norway was not without controversies. In 2002, one of Norway's biggest newspapers, Dagblada, found documents related to Rukke paying a former health minister $150,000 for six weeks of business counseling after a company acquisition. The problem was, the former health minister was still receiving severance pay from his ministry post. A law firm tried to hide the payment by making a false invoice, but the police investigation found out. This got a lot of media attention in Norway, and the former health minister sadly committed suicide shortly after the documents were released. After, the case was dropped by the National Authority of Economic Crimes. A few years later in 2005, another case was put under investigation, and this time, it resulted in jail time. Rukke was found guilty in bribing a ship inspector. He appealed the verdict, but in 2007, he withdrew his appeal and was sentenced to 120 days in prison. He was let out on parole after 25 days in jail. While his controversies in the media went their way, he was continuing to build his business empire. Acre ASA is now in several sectors like oil and gas, renewable energy, marine biotechnology, and software. He still owns 68% of the mother company and is worth $4.6 billion. Recently, Rukke announced he is moving from Norway to Switzerland. This caused mixed signals from the public and some accused him of wanting to pay less in taxes to Norway, as the tax rate is lower in Switzerland. He states in a letter that his capital will still benefit Norway, but has realized he doesn't need to be as much in person when conducting business. He also announced he is giving his home as a gift to his ex-wife. Gladly for humanity, he has dived into philanthropy. In 2017, he and his now ex-wife joined the Bill Gates and Warren Buffett's club, The Giving Pledge, where you commit to giving away half of your wealth. At the same time, he announced he is building the world's largest research expedition vessel in cooperation with the World Wildlife Foundation. Other contributions include investments in his hometown, Paralympic athletes, local football clubs, and a scholarship program for Norwegian talents. If you enjoyed these types of videos, you can subscribe down below for more content. Thanks for watching.